Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Craft Magic CNC. So today we'll be looking how to use the easel software to carve something out of your CNC 3018 Pro. Enter the website easel.inventables.com. I will also share the link in the description box below. If you are new to easel, just go to the new customer tab, enter an email ID, then your full name and then enter a password. And you can create a new account in the easel.com or if you are an existing customer, go to the existing customer tab, enter the email ID and then along with that password then you can log in. So this is how the interface looks like. Now you need to configure your machine. For that, click on the machine tab and select the machine type with this other gerbil. Then select the model as CNC router kit to 2018. Set the work area X axis as 300 mm and the Y axis as 180 mm. Then select the spindle control as automatic or you can go ahead with manual also. However, automatic will be much preferable and then your RPM should be 10,000 in my case and it depends upon the spindle motor that you have received with the machine. Now select the motion control as Arduino G shield and the rail size is 500mm into 500mm lead screw will be Acme threaded and uh, after that the spindle you can select as 24 volt DC spindle motor or if you have Dewalt you can go to Dewalt nut shoe if you have you can select it otherwise keep it blank and regarding the COM settings if you don't know the COM just go to your computer's device manager and in that manager you can see that there will be a section named as ports so just check out the port number mentioned in the device manager and then put the same port number in the easel software com section. So here it is showing as com9 in the device manager. So I'll go ahead and put the same in the easel software and then the device gets connected. Now here you need to test your wiring by moving it left or right which is x axis front or back which is y axis and the up and down which is z axis after verifying and pressing yes press the continue and select the spindle motor preference as automatic Turn the spindle off and on and check whether it is working with the same on the machine and then press continue. I have disabled homing here and then click on finish button and now my CNC is configured with the easel software. So now I can go ahead and continue with my project. Here I am just mentioning the dimensions which is width and length of my material along with thickness in my case will be 8 mm and then in the left side you can see there is a section named material type where uh, there will be various types of materials listed mine one will be the MDF on the left hand side you can see there are various options available so here I am going with the text option and uh, I am going to write here something and show you the same on the right hand side of the screen you can see a brown object, I mean a brown square piece which is just a 3D simulation of what you are going to write in 2D. After writing you will get this kind of options where you can select the depth of what you have written uh, which is like uh, the CNC drill bit will go inside that much depth you can change it as per your convenience and uh, you, the same thing can be seen in a 3d model on the right hand side so here I am changing the depth now and the 3d model also changes with that
then you have got the cut path option where you can select how you want the uh, engraving to be done either it will be a outside cut inside cut or it will be on shape cut there are various options you can see select and see all of them individually in the 3d border Then here you can select your bit type and size. Uh, as as you keep changing your bits, uh, the 3D model will also change along with that. So be particular with what bit you are using and whether uh, the 3D model is showing it correctly or not. And just for the information, the easel uh, free version allows you to use a very limited number of bits. But here uh, I'm going to use a V bit, which is not listed on the free version. But I'm just considering the size of the V bit and I'm just mentioning it as 1.32. So here I'm adding another text whose shape and depth will be different from the previous one. The easel allows you to do all those things at the same time. Here you can see the like and subscribe text is darker than the welcome to my channel text. That's because uh, the like and subscribe text has much more depth than the previous one. Then go to the cut settings and you'll see there is a recommended settings already there. However, this setting is very higher for the CNC machine uh, of 2018. So go to customs and set your feed rate between 100 to 300 and your plunge rate between 70 to 100. And the depth per pass here I'm setting as 0.8 mm, which is the amount of distance the Z axis will plunge down into your material per pass. Press on the simulate button and it will show you how much time it will take to engrave the whole thing. Here it is showing us 2 hours and 58 minutes uh, which is going a little bit higher for me. So I am going to make some changes here. Here I am keeping everything same, just changing my feed rate from 120 to 300 mm per minute. Now you can see the time shown to engrave is 58 minutes, which is approximately 2 hours faster than the previous feed rate. But make sure uh, the feed rate depends upon which kind of bit you are using here. So here you can see easel gives you an option of adding another detailing bit. However, I am not going to use the detailing bit in my engraving. I am just showing it for demonstration purpose.
Here, when you press the play button, uh, it will show you a simulated path which the CNC engraving machine will take while engraving. When you are satisfied with everything, just go to the option carve. Here you will see uh, it will ask you for some options like measure the material, which I have already measured and selected as MDF. Then clamp down the material, which I am doing with uh, double sided tape. Uh, here it is an 8mm MDF that I have clamped down securely. Then confirm your bit size and move your work bit to zero position. I mean, from here you want to start the engraving. So in my case, it will be from the left side, bottom part. Press raise the bit, turn on the spindle and confirm that the spindle is on and press up 